guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making a tutorial on automation and BeamNG Drive, specifically custom engine sounds. So now I have not played either of these games on the channel in several years, um, but lately I have been making more builds in automation, the car company tycoon game, and uh, I've been wanting to add some custom engine sounds to my car. So this is the car we're going to be using. This is the Amethyst Oliva GT. This is a car I have made and it is not public. As you can hear, this has the default V6 engine sounds for automation exports and they sound like this. Now this sound is pretty boring and bland, so in this video I'm going to tell you how to change it. Alright, so your first step is going to be coming up here to mods and making sure that your mod is actually unpacked. So if you find your mod, you're going to click on it here and click unpack. Now the game will do this for you and then you can also hit this button, open an explorer, and this is your unpacked vehicles folder and you should be able to find your vehicle right there. Now, to get to the location of the engine sounds, you're gonna click on the vehicle, and then you'll have two folders, art or vehicles. You're gonna click on vehicles, and then click on the only option, and then it'll open up this big long list. So you're gonna to wanna to find the folder that says engine underscore, and then a string of characters. You're gonna open that up, and then you're gonna find the text file that says casmo underscore engine, and then that list of characters. If you open that up, it's gonna open this text document, which basically has all the properties of your car. So you're gonna hit control F, and that'll open up this find thing, and you're gonna search for sound config. So you're gonna scroll down, you can use these arrow keys, and this is basically the code for the engines. So by default, it's gonna have a list of random characters. So we're gonna go ahead and delete this. So I will link this in the description. There is this helpful little engine code list in Google Sheets. Uh, that I stumbled across and basically these are almost all of the engine code sounds in the game. I'm going to go ahead and select the V6 underscore to exhaust. I'm going to control C to copy. Then I'm going to come over to our notepad and I can paste it. It's going to mess up the formatting a little bit, but you should just hit backspace a few times and there you go. Now if you head back to the game and hit control R, that will reload your vehicle and then you should have an engine sound. Now it's going to be very loud to begin. That's because uh, all automation engine sounds have a main gain of 7.5, which basically means how loud it is. You're gonna wanna set this to 0.1 or something similar. So now, your engine sounds much better. Now, if you find this volume still unsatisfactory, you can go in here to onload gain and offload gain and change these values. Now, onload gain basically means how loud the engine is under throttle, and offload gain means the exact opposite. Now, these values are set to 1.1 and 0.8 by default, uh, but when we change the engine sound to an in-game one, it makes it a lot louder than the automation one. So the values I like to use for this are 0.8 for the onload gain and 0.6 for the offload gain. So you're going to hit Control s to save, hop back into the game, hit Control r to reload, and your engine is going to be a little bit quieter. Okay, so this next step, uh, I'm only going to recommend this for advanced users uh, who want to further increase the depth of their custom engine sounds. So now if you're not comfortable with doing all this file editing, I would not recommend doing this. Uh, but if you want to have a different sound for your exhaust and for your engine, this is what you're going to have to do. So you're going to have to come to your Camzo engine file and uh, you're going to want to find the section where it says sound config exhaust and then what section to name to look for that 
section. So then you're going to want to add this line here. So this uh, is basically the same as this, but just without the exhaust. So I'm going to go ahead, this is a different file. I'm going to go ahead and copy this into our file. So just hit enter and then copy and paste. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to where we added that custom exhaust sound and you're going to want to enter down a few lines. So now I will also put this in the description. You're going to want to copy basically all of this text. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and put it in here. So now this basically is the sound for the engine and we already have the sound down here for the exhaust. So now you can add your very own engine sound in here. So you can have one for your exhaust and one for your engine. So now since we selected the V6 underscore two underscore exhaust uh, name for this one, we're going to go back into that spreadsheet and click on just the V6 underscore two underscore engine. We're going to hit control C to copy and then we're going to come back in here and paste it. It's going to mess up our formatting once again, hit backspace a few times. And now we have this in here. So now we're going to hit control S to save, go back into the game, hit control R to reload. And now, as you can see, we have two different sounds for back here and up here. Now, by default, the sounds of the engine are once again going to be loud. Um, so what I'd recommend doing is coming in here and changing this once more. So I'm going to go ahead and put the onload gain at uh, 0.4 and the offload gain at 0.2. Um, now, you're, it's going to vary depending on what engine sounds you use, so I play around with those values a little bit until you get a value that you like. So now, if we rev it up from the front, versus the back, Now we have two different engine sounds. Now what you can do with this is you can make some really good combos like this. Or this. And so on. All right, the final step for this video is uh, going to be turbocharger sounds. So now if your car is not aspirated or if it has a supercharger, you can skip past this section of the video since it doesn't really apply to you. Uh, I will make a, another video in the future on how to change the sounds for superchargers or other aspirations, but for now it's going to be turbo only. So. Uh, if you hit control F, you can once again use the search feature. So go ahead and put in turbocharger and scroll through the results until you find this one. It says turbocharger and then it has uh, some parameters around it. So now what we're going to be interested in is the, the blow off sound, the hiss sound and the whine sound. And that's going to be these three uh, text. So now by default, these are set to 05, 05, and 05. These are really the only parts that you want to edit are these values. So now this varies depending on the engine sound used, but usually they have a range of one through five. So you can have blow off sound one, blow off sound two, blow off sound three, etc. So right now this is set to five. Uh, here's what it sounds like. If you hear those uh, like air release sounds at the very, very high end of the RPM, that's what it is. So now I don't really like these default turbo sounds. I think they're once again crap. So uh, the combo that I like to use, actually I used in this other one, it's three, one, three. So you can come in here and hit three, then hit one, then hit three. Uh, so now you're also gonna wanna come down here uh, and look for these two, which is the blow off sound volume coefficient and the hiss volume per PSI. You can also look for the wine volume per 10,000 RPM. Um, now these three values you can change to make your turbo louder or to make your turbo quieter. 
So once again, I have a set value that I like to use, which is 2, 0 0.2, and the default one for the wine. So I'm just going to come in here, put 2, put 0 0.2 for that one, and then hit Control S to save. Come back to our game, and then we can hit Control R to reload the vehicle. And then we will have new turbo sounds. As you can see, we now have a car that sounds a lot better than the old one did. And we have some nice turbo sounds to go along with it. So that is going to do it for today's video. I did hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if I should do more tutorials like this, because uh, I personally enjoy doing them. So with that, I'll see you guys next time.